In this video, I'll be showing how to make a landmine for use in airsoft or paintball. The first step to making this mine will be to buy a grill igniter, such as this one here. This type of igniter creates a spark between the two wires when the button is pressed. The next step is to find a soup can and lid that is about the size you want the mine to be. A hole is then drilled in the bottom of the soup can which the igniter will be able to fit into. If you don't have a drill bit that is large enough to make this hole, you may need to just use the largest one you have and finish widening the hole with a file. At this point, make sure the igniter has enough wire to extend out of the bottom of the can once it's inserted in the hole. If so, you can go ahead and hot glue the igniter in place. Once the igniter has been glued in, go ahead and take the lid of the can and glue that to the button on the igniter. The foot pedal for the mine is now completed. The next step will be to take a regular soda bottle and sand down the threads so that the end will fit in the small side of this 3 quarter inch to 2 inch PVC reducer. Now in the bottom of the bottle, insert two screws so that they will both come very close to touching on the inside. Now before the screws are completely screwed in, take the end of a length of wire which is about two feet long and tighten down the screw head on the end. Now with both screws tightened down on a piece of two foot long wire, Double check that the gap between the screw tips is about a quarter inch. As long as the gap is around a quarter inch, you can go ahead and cover the screw heads with hot glue. The two wires which are coming from our bottle can now be connected to the two wires coming from our foot switch. Once the wires are spliced together, a little electrical tape will make sure that the spark does not jump between the splices. Now with just a little extra electrical tape to secure the wires, our mine is finished. Two PVC fittings go over the end of this bottle when it's loaded. These two fittings are what will be filled with the powder that will coat our enemy. This fitting here is a 3 quarter inch by 2 inch PVC adapter, and this fitting here is a 2 inch coupling. They go together just like this, and if you press them together hard enough, no glue is required. Now as a final touch, I'm going to take our foot pedal here as well as these PVC fittings and paint them black. To load this mine, I take a spray bottle filled with at least 90% alcohol and give two good mists inside this bottle. The lid is then taped closed with one layer of clear packaging tape. This set of PVC fittings is now pressed down on top over the tape. This hollow portion here is now filled about halfway with baking soda. The mine is now loaded and ready to go into the ground. Here is an example of how the completed mine should be placed. You can see I have dug it into the ground slightly and ran the wire to the charge, which is a short distance away. The mine and charge are now camouflaged into the surroundings. Finally, the charge is packed with baking soda and leaves placed over it as camouflage.